I'm speaking uh, with you from Mayor Natera's headquarters in the high-tech village of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Um, Natera is a, a startup, but a, <clears throat> but a, um, a very uh, well-experienced and well-founded startup. We set about six years ago to bridge the gap between the human or uh, analog worlds and the uh, the digital ecosystem that surrounds them. Uh, that is to say that uh, I think nobody is surprised that if you land, for example, uh, uh, at an airport in a country you have never been before, you are able to uh, immediately order uh, services or a taxi to your location, uh, perhaps also your, your itinerary or previous choices are, are already known. That is to say there's seamless interaction that is taking place. This is not the case with human physiological condition. They always, or until now, or until we've come up with, uh, with our Natera solution, human physiological uh, condition is something that we actively input into the, dig uh, into the di digital uh, ecosystem around us. Of course, there are wearables and so forth. I think anyone who has some experience or some activity within the, within the healthcare sector would be familiar with many of these um, solutions. So what we have done at, uh, at Natera is we've taken three pillars of technology, which are firstly our hardware. We have developed our own proprietary sub terahertz radar um, of very small form factor with antennas on chip operating for those of you who have some technical um, uh, understanding at very high frequency in the sub terahertz band at 122 gigahertz. This gives us very, uh, very high accuracy in the reading of human vital signs without contact uh, and remotely. And I will show you exactly how this is done. Of course, all of this takes place in the real world where we have a, a lot of noise around, where we have people speaking as, as perhaps I am or moving or in a vehicle. Therefore, we need a very strong um, artificial intelligence and algorithmic basis to our work. And that is, a, that is certainly one full half of our development is being able to um, detect human vital signs remotely and without contact, but at the same time, being able to identify those, those vital signs as opposed to other noise and other activity that is taking place in the environment, in the real world. Uh, and all of this is supported by the Natera cloud for storage, for retrieval, for analysis of, uh, of this information. And here you can see um, our uh, current product. This is not a concept. Natera provides uh, already a, a solution, a sensor, and of course we can go beyond that and provide um, a PCB and, and solutions for integration, but we provide a product that remotely and without contact senses human vital signs from a distance. Just to give you an idea of, uh, I'm well aware of the, the shortness of time we have here, of course I can elaborate uh, for anyone following this, but we are able already, again, not as a concept, but as a product, and something that is already deployed, we are able to remotely and without contact accurately measure heart rate, uh, respiration rate, heart rate interval, uh, inhale, exhale ratio, respiration amplitude. All of this is done, by the way, without any penetration into the body. We measure what is known as the ballistocardiogram. That is to say, people are familiar, I'm sure, with electrocardiogram, but there is a, a mechanical shockwave that travels around the body with cardiopulmonary activity. And this is what we detect. We are a technology company. We are constantly developing. You are meeting me at a particular point in time. We are developing, racing ahead. This is what we provide at the moment. Uh, if we had spoken two, three months ago, um, I could have told you, for example, that we will soon be able to detect all of this from the front of the subject. We now can. Now from one and a half meters in front of the subject, we are able to detect all of these parameters and we are continuing to develop bio ID, sleep apnea detection, blood pressure is on our roadmap as well. All of this taking place in a, an environment which you would be well familiar with. These are of course US statistics and you would be well aware of your, your home German statistics of the prevalence of chronic diseases, particularly amongst the elderly. And in the COVID era in the last year, a year by the way, in which Natira has increased its activity and its workforce by 
Um, there are some industries that, of course, that have been harmed by the what has happened, but we have received a backwind because we obviously, with contactless vitals monitoring, this is something that is totally, totally relevant to what has happened in the past year. So we've seen this enormous upswing in the need for remote patient monitoring, and this is what we provide. Um, here you can see uh, the way our system works. You see the Natera micro sensor, very small form factor, uh, eight by six centimeters, um, that is detecting from the front of the subject through clothing, either continuously or in spot me measurement, heart rate, respiration rate, the metrics that uh, I mentioned beforehand. All of this is uh, through Wi-Fi is transferred to the Natera cloud or can be directly, um, uh, directly interfaced with existing medical equipment, whether it be dialysis uh, machine or whatever the case may be. Uh, and this uh, is then available um, either for um, immediate analysis or for storage for, for later analysis and retrieval. That is the setup of our system. Again, this is something that is available. Um, we, uh, I understand that the subject here is, of course, what has been happening in, 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 uh, with regard to COVID, and this is entirely relevant to our activity in the past year. This is the Natera product that, uh, as I mentioned, is very, uh, we've seen this enormous upsurge in, in demand for our solution for a remote patient monitoring and this massive move away from the hospital into care facilities and monitoring at home. But we also, and this is something that uh, I'm, I assume would be a, uh, of interest to many of you and we can discuss following, we have together with partners here in Israel, in Europe, in the States and in Southeast Asia, develop, we are developing and have already developed with, uh, with partners um, uh, integrated solutions for screening of uh, healthcare screening in order to detect with uh, not only elevated temperature, but also uh, respiratory distress, cardiac distress in, or, uh, distress in order to give a holistic picture within a very so short space of time, less than one minute um, uh, prior to travel, entrance to workplaces or whatever the case may be. Uh, we are, you are meeting us just at the point as we move into mass production, our first 1000 devices uh, uh, under production. Um, in terms of our certification, we are um, ISO 13485 as a, as a medical manufacturer, we are certified, exempt, currently exempt uh, 510K uh, class one with FDA and going for our FDA clearance, we hope by, uh, we forecast in the third quarter of this year and CE Medical, of course, more relevant to, or entirely relevant to Germany is something that we expect towards the end of this year. Um, uh, those of you who uh, are interested or have some experience in remote patient monitoring solutions would be aware of the other technologies that are out there. This is something that we could discuss further, but uh, amongst uh, low, uh, low frequency radar or contact solutions or optic solutions, we find that uh, a high frequency radar solution is able to tick the boxes as you see on the left here, but in the shortness of time, I will not go through everything you see there on the list, but in terms of accuracy and privacy and the high resolution uh, uh, that we are able to uh, provide in continuous monitoring, this is something that means that the Natera sub terahertz radar stands out. I just, I wish to be clear, we are talking about, uh, or put it another way, what we are doing at Natera has never been done before. We are a development company that is uh, making achievements in, in uh, remote non-contact monitoring um, that have never been done before uh, in the world. Uh, and we continue to, uh, that is, so we're, we're arrowhead technology, just if it wasn't clear, this is what we're talking about. And we already have this available to you. And I would be very pleased to discuss whatever your particular use case is, whether it be screening at the entrance to facilities, whether it be um, a constant a monitoring in care facilities or at home or within the hospital, this is the solution that uh, I'd be very pleased to discuss with you. Thank you for your time and I'm uh, open to any questions.